The Bangladeshi Army Chief was welcomed with a quarter guard mounted by personnel of Fajara Barracks, setting the pace for the inspection of the Gambia Armed Forces' readiness to co-deploy with the Bangladeshi Armed Forces. In an attainable UN peacekeeping operation, the visiting delegation was accompanied by the Minister of Defense, retired General Seng Modunjai, and the High Command of the Gambia Armed Forces. The Bangladeshi Chief of Army Staff, General Seh Mohammed Seyfuddin Ahmed, and team took a tour of the equipment displayed. The inspecting team also interacted with the Army personnel based on the caliber of weapon they operate. 19, great launcher. 19. But usually you practice at 800. Very well. 800 is continuous. And you are confident in making it with very, very well. five inches. 100 percent. I can see. You are damn confident. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, communication devices, military hardware, earmarked for a possible UN mission, and among others, were all inspected by the Bangladeshi High Command. The Chief of Defense Staff of the Gambia Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Yakuba Edrame, underscored the fact that his gallant men and women has served in various missions with distinction. General Drame outlined efforts made in situated another mission for his fine men and women in uniform. Period on the review precisely. We've undertaken a lot of planning and preparation to actualize and realize the dream. What do I mean by planning and preparations? When you are given that exceptional privilege to provide a contingent under the banner of what we call quick reaction force, that is the highest level you can achieve in every UN standard. It's unlike what we call a protection force. QRF meaning as and when the situation becomes untenable, you could be called upon to perform special functions to quell or perhaps restore peace and security in that given area. That's quite demanding physically, mentally. However, I do not doubt the credibility and performance of troops under my command. On the basis of that, I've always maintained to say, yes, we can provide a quick reaction force. How to actualize it was really a challenge because usually always if there is an existing mission under the auspices of the United Nations to have a foothold in these missions usually more so when the troop level is perhaps fully implemented. It's very difficult. For CDS drama, the Bangladeshi chief's inspection of his troop is a history in the annals of the Gambia Armed Forces. Remember, that was the intention of the United Nations. But remember, Bangladesh being one of the most prominent troop contributing countries in the level of the United Nations is a pride and quite an appeasing approach to work with them. They have a world of experience. They are the largest contributing countries when it comes to the United Nations. They have over 8,000 troops in the United Nations. In all the dimensions at the level of military, at the level of air aviation and at the level of, I mean, sea as well. So quite a formidable country in terms of peacekeeping operations. And in the process of their participation in peace operations, they've maintained what we call an enviable performance track record. As a country and as an institution, we take pride and joy to work closely with our brothers and However, the weapon displayed were anti-aircraft guns, AAGs, light machine guns, HMGs, and the RPGs, rocket propelled grenades, all of which were earmarked for a possible mission. For Star TV, I am Otto El Baji.